Hello and welcome back. It's puzzle time with Sudoku Sleuth and we've got a relatively simple puzzle for us today. I say relatively simple because it's all about sums and it's a 6x6 six six Sudoku grid. Which you can see here, young Sleuth is busy revising what looks like a multiplication table and I imagine he's probably focusing particularly on the 6 row and uh, looking at the multiplications of that. I don't know if it's going to be relevant for today's puzzle, but that's what he's doing right now. Well, let's take a look at what the actual puzzle is. Now, we've got six sums by Sunflower 2109. Somehow Sunflower is, what, born in the future? Very interesting. Now, I did actually manage to crack what was going on with the blinking. And um, I probably should report it to Sven to hopefully fix it. So what I discovered is, and, and essentially how I actually came about to solve this, is even when I wasn't recording, I noticed that when I was actually playing some of the puzzles that it was still actually blinking in and out. So it was very clearly unrelated to my recording. I even updated my operating system and it was still going on. So I decided to actually just explore it a bit. And when I realized it was only happening in this browser, I was absolutely certain at that point that there was some sort of compatibility issue with the browser that I'm using, which is Microsoft Edge and Sven's Sudoku pad. Now, the exact issue is, um, I can actually even move this, I can't. So I'm not even sure that you guys can see this, but I will move it temporarily, is essentially if you use outline on elements and click on then you use colors and you start selecting and coloring things you can immediately see things are blinking in and out now as soon as you turn off outlines on elements you're good so um if i hope that is helpful for some of you that were experiencing the issue i imagine it was probably only just me but um Enough said with all of that. Let's actually take a look at the puzzle. So uh, let me get rid of this. So normal six by six Sudoku rules. So that's relatively easy. That means the digits one to six in every row, every column, and every two by three box or three by two box I just kind of selected there. Now, identical digits cannot be a king's move apart in chess. So if, for example, this is a one, not only are none of these ones, because they're in the same column, not only are none of these ones, because they're in the same row, not only are none of these one, because they're in the same box, these two as well, which are kings move apart, even though they're in different columns, different rows, different boxes, none of these can be one either. So pretty powerful rule, particularly in six by six grids, because you, know, you end up with these odd shaped boxes, they're rectangles rather than boxes, and you really need to pay special attention to these cells that are essentially on the edges because it just removes so many possibilities. You end up with only two options that could be this purple cell. Right. Um, last rule we have is numbers and arrows sum to the number in the arrow circle. So, for example, this three cell, excuse me, arrow means that these three cells on the shaft of the arrow must sum up to a digit that you would place in this circle. Same for this one, same for that. There's a lot of three cell arrows, and same for this one as well. Well, if you fancy going back to elementary school with Sleuth, revisiting your six sums, link will be in the description down below as usual for you to play along. And with that said, let me restart the clock and see how I get on. Now, as I was explaining the rules, I immediately noticed that these are three cell arrows, as is this one. This one, it is three cells. Actually, no, it is three cells because this cell actually sees both because of the anti-king move that we have. So they're all one, twos, and threes. And I say one, two, and three because that's the minimum it can be, which would sum up to six. And luckily, six is also the maximum we can put in. So all of these are sixes. Um, you can see sixes now. All of that is not available. That's the six here. That's not a six. That's not a six. Anti-king move. That's not a six. That's the six. That's the six. That's all the six is done. Beautiful. Fours and fives in here. 
I imagine I'm going to need to do a bit of colouring. Yeah, why not? Let's crack on with it. So purple, blue, green. That's not blue or purple. Remember, it's touching, anti-night move. That's green. That's blue. That's not blue or green. Notice that still sees it. So that's purple. And that's blue. I'm going to do yellow and orange. That's green. That's blue. Therefore, this is purple. This is blue. I need a green uh, one, two, three in here. This sees this cell. This sees this cell. That's the green one, two, three. These are from fours and fives again. I need a purple one, two, three. Remember what I said earlier about the fact that it eliminates a lot of options and it's clearly not a six. That's purple. Uh, that's four, five. I'll figure out colors in a moment. These are both four fives. Um, I need blue. And blue's not there. That's blue. These are greens and purples. So I'm not actually sure what they are. Because it's not greens and purples. So they're not that trivial. I need a green. This is not green. There's a green in here somewhere. Meaning this is 4, 5. These are 1, 2s and 3s. I'm fairly sure it can't be a 3 because, you know, that's not, that's too high. So that's not a 3. I'm fairly sure that won't be a 3 either because that would require a 3 in here and it will see it. So that's not a 3. So blue is 3. Can't say first digit in three minutes because I've actually placed all the sixes already. Um, so these are one twos. That's a four five. That's another four five. Therefore, this is the three. I mean, I think I've already known that. Yeah, there was no threes in anywhere else. These are one two and a four five. This is four or five. That's not six because we've already placed it. That's five, that's one, that's four, that's two. And I imagine that's probably enough to actually figure out the rest of it. Uh, so that's four, five, one. That's another four or five, except it, you can see there's five, that's four, that's five, that's one, that's two. Uh, that five sees this cell, that's four, five, four, five. Have I figured out what the these are? I must have. Surely. Yeah, purple is two. Two, 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 two. That's purple now, not green. That's green. So that's one, 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 four, and five. Pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, uh, I think... If you got a puzzle that's under five minutes, we deserve a second one for that for that day. So um, I guess watch out in a few more hours for the next recording of today. Thank you very much, Sunflower. This is um, a nice puzzle. It's an approachable puzzle. Probably forces you to do a bit of coloring or some way of indicating things because the fours and fives, I don't think you could have necessarily broken it otherwise. But aside from that, I hope you enjoyed this short and sweet puzzle. And see you back for the next video. Bye for now.